The Tumor Valley in the Eastern Cape provides a number of case studies that provoke key questions around the issues of land reform and land restitution. The Tumor Valley was part of former Saskai and experienced forced removals under the umbrella of betterment. Betterment refers to the removals of large numbers of black families into centralized village residential areas. This was done by the successive South African government in the 1930s. It had a dire effect in not only breaking up the family structure, but the practices and cultural identities of the people. Mr. Enoch Gwai, who was moved to Mavuso in the Tumor Valley, recalls the times of betterment and how the white men robbed the blacks of their land. Professor Monty Rudd is a sociologist based in Rhodes University. Monty speaks on the history of the different land acts and the impact of dispossession in South Africa. Historically what happened, um, you had first the Glen Grey Act, which uh, restricted the size of land holdings for black people, and then in 1913, the 1913 Land Act, uh, which restricted black people in South Africa to about 7% of the land. Uh, in 1936, the 1936 Land Act extended uh, th that area to about 13% um, of the land. And of course this was one of the measures that uh, the colonial and then uh, um, apartheid, uh, well segregation and then apartheid governments used to force people off the land and that kind of thing. Once people were removed into the reserves like the former Saskai, the policy of betterment forcibly removed them to live together in closer settlements. But of course what it did was to break down those cultural and uh, historical relationships that people had established and that they were living by. Um, suddenly you find yourself in a closer settlement living next door to people that you don't know from a bar of soap. So there was a lot of resistance against betterment in many areas. In fact, one of the last armed rebellions in South Africa was over uh, betterment. Stock theft is very high. The first democratically elected government in the country had a major task, a task to restore the dignity of its people through the concept of land reform in an attempt to reimagine South Africa as a united nation. Land reform aims to unlock the potential for a dynamic, growing and employment-creating agricultural sector. In many areas we have huge amounts of poverty, malnutrition. The, the main goal is to, is to give people a better quality of life. Though the traditional farming process was dismantled by the Betterment Project, some people still farmed in the congested closer settlements they were moved to. Knowledge was passed down from generation to generation. In the small village of Kayaletu, situated in the Chuma Valley, Jeanette Tema is a small-scale farmer who has been farming ever since she can remember. She now owns a small business called Growing Green Organic, where she grows organic vegetables and makes her own organic products, such as salt, mouthwash, and skin care creams. Nam 
for 2015 bendi overall win. Mnagen organic and the seven zisindoni he fertilized. The gigandoni amake abezonk. There is great potential for land reform in the Chume Valley. But there are difficulties that small-scale farmers, business owners, residents, and in particular, the youth face. Mazwe Pongolo, a researcher at the University of Fort Hay, sat down with the residents of Notenga to discuss the challenges they still face in the land reform era. government departments corruption and government in asking and as providing his skills up his lalin. Snama Sati Apa Sinez in those cooler, Snama Java Abaleg, Snamanzi, Sinef plants as Baleg, laying as Sabandana be to call it back, fund the song of Baleg, a window yabo, then Umbana was good class years calling. I have found a loop pushes a lend our good. In Fundo Yabanduana, Bassas Lalin, Ipotuke, if I name in Fundo Yabanduana. The youth is one of the biggest casualties of unemployment in the rural areas. Government seems to be slacking in providing skills and creating job opportunities. However, residents like Mr. Mshobo, a local poultry farmer, is giving back to his community through multiple youth empowering projects. Nandi Teman Buye, this is a chapter in Kebu and the Ababan to Bemkayo, Bio Chehout in Susan Banganda, Babonba, e development in a miscellaneous Ico selection, Ilapa and the Gay Family. Project is in the Indizens as an Inziga Kunel Nership and Nile with a love daddy, Kashabandana by 30. By a fund abandoned for a period of 12 months, but seven are some of his structures. It by a tank single through the financial assistance of Agricita, Mr. Mshobo has multiple learnership programs that help equip the youth in farming. It impacts on land redistribution by equipping, training, and upskilling the black farmers who have no experience in farming. Okay, but yeah, to abandon the squad, Zang the banners figure less going. If farming I need to go be on the on a decrease or on and on the opportunity now, who can the land up because you don't have to make the land win. And if you only get the land, you don't have to buy or be on Mr. Mutsepe, or be billionaire. The information and I find a school and the education and I say that let me come back and plow back to my community and but develop. Involving traditional leaders in land reform is a complicated and controversial process. There is disagreement over how traditional leaders need to be involved in land reform and rural development. There is a great sense of urgency in the valley. There is a call for support from the government so that the goal of land reform may one day fully materialize. It is believed by many that unless the black nation gets their land back, they will always be dispossessed. Umshaba si pila yongi ndeki alo aiki alo umshabi na tisi vile umshabi uba umshaba awuko si zaguakapi si zaujapi 